but I I have felt cancer. I know I I know that I can feel it. I can I can feel what is going to be in cancer and how I'm going to tackle it. And I've actually felt that how I will paralyze it and how I will cure it. On the 19th of November 2000, in a rural Indian village at the foothills of the Himalayas, an operation was about to take place on an eight-year-old girl. But what was so extraordinary was that the surgeon carrying out the operation was one year younger than the patient. In this book, the surgery is well defined and it contains 57 surgeries. The girl had been badly burned as a toddler. Her hands had formed into permanent fists. Her fingers had fused together. As the girl's family were shepherds, they could not afford surgery. They turned for help to a young boy who had a reputation in the region for being a medical genius. In an hour-long operation, the boy successfully separated the girl's fingers, uncurling her hand for the first time in five years. The operation was a success, and the legend of Akrit Jaswal, child surgeon, child genius, was born. Akrit has been shown to have the highest IQ for any boy of his age in India, a country of more than one billion people. He has focused this phenomenal intelligence on medicine, and now, age 12, claims to be on the verge of discovering a cure for cancer. Brilliance has no one natural home. You never know where the next genius is going to come from or predict what they're going to achieve. Akrit Jaswal comes from a sleepy village in a backwater of rural India. But Akrit's path has always been different. He was an early developer. He bypassed crawling, was walking and talking by the age of 10 months, and was reading Shakespeare in English by the age of five. For cancer, this is the world class and the world's best book for cancer studies. And for medical sciences, this is called the Bible of Medical Sciences. This is Grey's Anatomy by Henry Gray. Akrit's bedroom is, is full of medical science books, presents given to him by a father who fueled his passion for medicine. Days spent in doctor's surgeries, observing dozens of operations, turned Akrit's passion into a burning ambition. My basic aim is to remove all those screams, to remove the agony, to remove the pain from humans. Akrit is to spend two weeks based at Imperial College London, having his intelligence tested and talking super mechanisms, genes and therapies with scientists at the cutting edge of cancer research. a little bit about chemical th gene therapy. And it's, it's actually, you know, to target genes specifically and uh, maybe a user rounded approach. Some biochemical agents as well as genetic, genotoxic agents. In, uh, it, it's in oncoproteins also. Uh, you can target some uh, DNA binding motifs, uh, motifs, structural motifs with which they bind to the DNA and express their information in the cancer cells okay. for cancer treatment. Thank you. You got any more questions for him? <laughs> Thank you, His scientific knowledge is very, very sharp. Very impressive. Very impressive. So um, I'd, I'd say that he's, he's probably ahead of us in most of his scientific <laughs> knowledge and his anatomy. <laughs> At his age, whether the ethics of having someone who's not really into his teens tr treating patients and whether he can really comprehend problems with cancers, such as the impact on someone's life. I think he's a very bright boy. He, he's, uh, he's not lacking in imagination, is he? He's certainly not lacking in right or either wrong, intelligence he's... or imagination. He's obviously been precocious and revered in his own environment back in India. And nobody's really taken them and him under their wing. Mm. Uh, there is some orthodox in the, you know, in India. Orthodox thinking that there are only divine powers and hum humans uh, can't do anything. So do you think faith plays an yeah, important yeah. role linked with medicine? 
because they have more faith in a, uh, you know, twelve-year-old than a doctor. Yeah. Not in a twelve-year-old doctor, in a twelve-year-old boy with divine powers, rather than <laughs> maybe yeah. a twelve-year-old doctor. Yeah. That that's the problem in India. Yeah. What do you think about all that? That's good? rubbish. Akrit sees himself as a scientist, not a guru. It's important to him that his theories and thinking are objectively judged, not lost in spiritual wrapping. So you know, you're now interested in research because you think solutions to medical problems will yeah. come through research, and you've got some ideas yourself. Yeah, yeah. I've got a lot of ideas. Actually, I've got millions of ideas, but but I've, I've also selected them few. Right now, I, I, I want to do is to develop a cure, just one single, the final cure, the genetic cure for cancer. The mega cure. Genetic. Yeah. <coughs> the genetic right, let's cure hear about for this. cancer. All right, let's, let's hear some of the ideas about the genetic cure for cancer that you have. It is based on the disintegration of uh, DNA binding structural motifs of oncoproteins. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, normally they think genes, let's fix them. Yes. But, but how? So you call this chemical gene, gene therapy, therapy, you'll give it as a tablet, you'll take it by mouth, and this chemical will go into all these cells in the body. So are, are you then proposing to uh, try and fix specific genes or just go into DNA generally and you know, re repair everything that might be in, in, in bad condition? Both. Both. That's not easy. That's a not lot easy. Of, a lot of people have tried that. It, it's not easy. It's not at all easy. But you're optimistic. Yeah. I have got actually a lot of mechanisms, basically. And one was also based on the voltage-gated ion channels. But still, you know, there is, I, I have something little secret. OK. Well, we, <laughs> we certainly don't want to yeah. get you to divulge secrets.